double XP week that's going to be ending May 12th at around 3 p.m. Eastern. And May 12th is also the day that Season 2 is dropping at 3 p.m. Eastern. You have yet to finish the Season 1 XP reward path, let alone spun the wheel. And you want to get to that point, so I got the fastest method for you. The first thing I want you to do is get out of Diamond Dynasty and go inside of your settings. Inside of your settings, you are going to create a brand new set of settings. You're going to save as new preset and create from the current once you create from the current you are going to go to the three dots all over again and then rename that preset to roll to the show ball player or whatever it is that you would like it to have inside of gameplay we are simply going to change the hitting difficulty and pitching difficulty to beginner once we have done that we are going to press l2 or left trigger and then make sure that the player lock game flow is skipped to next appearance and base running opportunities are on open base fielding opportunities we have it on all but this you would only want if you are looking to not only get XP fast, but also finish the archetype programs as fast as possible. Instead of this, you would change it to none and change this to none as well if you were only focused on getting XP as fast as possible. Sticking to our first settings, we're gonna then head on to control. For offense, you're already gonna have the settings that you use normally for Diamond Dynasty online or offline. For defense, although, I do want you to change the pitching interface to classic. Classic just allows you to press the button twice Twice that you want to throw and then the CPU does the rest for you allowing you to put a game on the side or a movie and just relax while mindlessly grinding MLB the show ball player program before you even start the method there are two things that you can do one of them is exclusive to current gen that can help you finish the program and get XP a whole lot faster one of them is going to revolve stadium creator if you have downloaded or would like to download one of the XP ballparks just search up parallel xp in the recent stadiums downloaded and then you will be able to use it in road to the show to allow yourselves to get a ton of more extra base hits and runs scored allowing your hitter to be able to hit in games a lot more often if not that and you are on old gen or last gen what you could do is and current gen can do it as well is go inside of the vaults and find a roster that has a team full of 99 overalls while every other team is full of zero overalls roles you're gonna save that roster and before you even enter road to the show you are going to start a new file because if you have a current one you can't save those new rosters to it and in that new file you are going to load that save roster I have one where it's all team zero and Yankees 99 I would make sure that I get drafted to the Yankees so I have a team full of 99 overalls and I could get all those extra plate appearances and whenever I pitch against other teams it's gonna be super easy I did a pitch because you are going to want to create a two-way ball player but a two-way ball player is not necessarily the fastest or only method I would like to say you can also create just a position player or just a pitcher if you would like to now keep in mind that once you max out an archetype program you do not have the ability to create a brand new ball player and max out that archetype program again instead you would have to go to the next archetype program and the next archetype program Position players only offer three archetype programs. Pitchers offer four, but Nuxi, you are not able to take into Diamond Dynasty. And then two-way players, they offer a lot more because you can select velocity and power, velocity and contact, velocity and fielding. And then you have three options as well for break, control, and then Nuxi. So in total, you have 12 archetype programs that you can develop as a two-way player. Now, the positions that you will select will be whatever you want to take into Diamond Dynasty. I normally select starting pitcher and first baseman because I I don't take my ball player and use them into diamond dynasty i don't feel like there's a need to but if you are going to want a catcher only then make sure you create a catcher only because the attributes that you raise inside a road to the show are only to that character you created they do not get shared globally for each new character that you do go ahead and create even if they are using the same archetype the starting pitcher and first base also helps you complete the archetype programs a whole lot faster because inside of the archetype programs you will see such tasks as 
put out. And if you're playing first base, it's very easy to get the ball thrown to you and get a put out. The reason why we had an open base in terms of fielding opportunities is because we like to steal bases. It's also very easy to do in ball player and will give you program points that will allow you to finish the archetype program a whole lot faster. So you might be wondering, how is this the fastest XP method then, Blade? Well, you start off with a bronze archetype program and throughout the reward path, you are going to see a ton of XP rewards once you gain 10 program points. And then once you get to 100, just go and change your skill set to the next rarity, which is going to be the silver cheesy spark plug. And then you will see a brand new reward path with an increasement in terms of XP, as well as stubs and rarity when it comes to perks and equipment. And then once you equip the gold, you will see the exact same thing. It's going to increase in terms of experience, stubs, and the equipment as well as perks. And once you equip the diamond, which I do not have, it's going to be the exact same thing. More experience, diamond perks, and diamond equipment. And what can you do with all of those items if you are not going to use a ball player inside of Diamond Dynasty? You can sell them and get a ton of stubs. Once you're inside a road to the show, if you do have a created stadium you would like to use, go into League and then Stadium Assignment, and I would highly suggest selecting that stadium as the stadium for each and every single division. So MLB, triple a and double a for both the american and national league because if your player ever gets called up at any point you don't want to have to reselect it for each and every single one again instead do it from the beginning and always make sure that whichever archetype you are working on you hop into that player where the stadiums are already pre-selected when it comes to playing the road to the show games you will have some mini goals that will appear at times and some of those mini goal rewards are either going to be packs that have equipment rewards or they are going to give you program points here's a little tip always select the ones that give you program points so you go to the next program a whole lot faster now how you get those program points are by completing these tasks there are innings pitch strikeouts plate appearances putouts assists hits extra base hits and stolen bases as well those are the repeatable ones now this is my personal experience yours might be a little bit different but i'm going to go based off of mine so if i had eight out of nine innings pits as well as 13 out of 14 strikeouts and 20 four plate appearances done so far if I went into a game where I was going to be the starting pitcher and I was not going to get any at bats as soon as I pitch one to two innings this would get reset to zero but all the extra innings that I would pitch inside of that game would not be counted towards my progress to get another three so most of the times as soon as I either hit the innings pitched or the strikeout goal I just go ahead and simulate the remainder of the game and then the next pitching game I I make sure I know, okay, here I have to either throw nine innings or I need to get 10 more strikeouts in order to simulate the remainder of the game, get the three program points and just keep it pushing. This is going to allow you to finish the archetype program a whole lot faster. The same thing with hitting. If I had 24 plate appearances, as soon as I get one plate appearances, in my experience at least, the rest of the plate appearances will not count. So instead, all I would do is just simulate the remainder of the game and head to my next game where I would be a hitter and then from there on all my plate appearances would count. This is going to save you a lot of time in the long run. A lot of people have said although that if you continue hitting it's going to keep refreshing and keep giving you the program points. I honestly have tested it out and it did not work for me but if it works out for you then hallelujah. The last thing I would like to tell you all is that your base attributes for your role to the show player all start at 30. Some of them might start a little bit higher but that's based on the archetype that you have selected to progress for example if you have selected power your power archetype is going to have higher power base attributes than one that has contact but each base attributes has 20 points where you can go ahead and cap it off at and you're going to be able to cap it off through playing role to the show not diamond dynasty but keep in mind that there is a glitch for two-way players if you go ahead and create a two-way player and you equip perks that only increase 
positively because it also impacts it negatively doubled. For example, if I were to go ahead and equip this contact perk, I would, instead of getting five contact against both sides, get 10 contact against both sides inside of Diamond Dynasty. And instead of minus two power, I would get minus four. So I would instead look for a perk that only offers increasements instead of also decreasements. And then once I do that, I would also go out of my way and equip the best equipment that I have for each available slot that gives me the most contact power whatever it is that you want your ball player to have and I would also change the arsenal now this only works for two-way players keep that in mind so you're gonna exit once you have everything equipped you're gonna head into Diamond Dynasty and inside of Diamond Dynasty you need to have the two-way ball player as your DH and as a starting pitcher once you do that for some odd reason and MLB the show still hasn't fixed it if you go into any Diamond Dynasty game all your perks and equipment instead of giving you that one-to-one -one ratio in terms of increasing or decreasing is gonna give you a two-to-one ratio so instead of five contact, it's going to be 10. And that's how you will be able to see a ton of ball players running around with max attributes that have never stepped a game into Road to the Show. I have 125 hit per nine. And as you can see in Road to the Show, it's only a 76 and it shouldn't be like this, but there is a glitch in the system. This is going to allow you to get some pretty overpowered ball players while also finishing that season one XP reward path. If you did end up enjoying today's content, hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell inside the description you will have the social media links make sure you guys go ahead and check them out there might be something you like have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all in the next one peace out